Oh, it might help if I Great. took it off mute. How are you doing? There you go. <laughs> good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out to speak with all of us. I thoroughly enjoyed the episodes that I've seen so far. So, you know, what has you know, the comedy and the, the banter back and forth between everyone is fantastic. So, I mean, what has it been like? You know, is there any standout moments while filming for you guys? Um, I'll start this one, guys. Uh, it's, it, Terry Ryan played Ted Hitchcock. Um, for me, uh, the, the, the moments that stand out, although the one part uh, we're all in the apartment and uh, that, that, that was there was a really funny scene. But the, the moments that really stand out for me are in the dressing room talking with the guys uh, and the girls because it, it, it emulated real like the, there was a lot of meta reality going on in that a lot of us were already hockey players. Um, even the actors that weren't actual hockey players are big hockey fans. And, you know, we'd cut and we'd still just be telling stories as if the scene would call for it anyway. So to me, it, it represented what a real hockey team would kind of be doing at that time anyway. So it was, uh, I, I guess, as memorable as it was a breath of fresh air, because I've worked on film sets for the last 10 years and there was really nothing like it that I've seen so far. I've had I, I don't know how, how far along you've uh, you've seen, but I mean, I, I had a few uh, it was one particular kind of nerve wracking scene. <laughs> I guess people will probably know what that is later. But, um, <laughs> um, I, uh, you know, that was a standout one for sure. Um, but, you know, Jared just writes. Uh, I mean, I, I, I thanked him numerous, numerous times because I was like, man, just as an actor, I mean, uh, you know, auditioning for the show and, and everything else, you kind of only as good as your material. Right. And I mean, he just blessed us with just this amazing scenes and, and stuff to go back and forth with him. Um, I've been friends with with Jared uh, prior to this. Um, and so for him, the way he was writing Michael's and to be able to come to work and like do that with a friend. Uh, that you've known for a while and respect immensely. Uh, it was, it was, you just feel, you just felt blessed coming to work like that. Honestly, it was it just had such a rhythm and a, and, and, and a sense of comedy uh, that it was, it was just, it was so refreshing to be able to have material like that and, and come in and do so. Do you want, to, he's going to go on for 15 minutes unless yeah. we cut him off. Do you want to be reminded <laughs> of what the question was? Anything memorable on set? Did anything memorable happen? Holy cow. Uh, before we go right back, tell us about your yo. new kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ryan got cut off. No, honestly, it was just an amazing set. You know, like Clary said, uh, I've been on a couple of sets as well. And it was just like a big family. It was real different. Everything is just everything. Every day, you don't feel like you're working that much. You know what I'm saying? You're having so much fun with the people. Everyone was great. Um, but maybe the last scene, I don't know how far you've seen, but episode six, we got a pretty funny scene with the boys in the, in the apartment. Uh, that's all I'm going to say for now. It was I, good forgot, I forgot what that was. Okay. That's awesome. Well, gosh, I know even in the first two episodes, you guys are going to make everybody have a rung on drumsticks, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, how do you guys each feel that your character in particular relates to Shorzy? Like, what are their motivations going to be that we're going to see play out? Because I know everyone seems to kind of have a little bit of a different relationship with him. Yeah. Um, for myself, I would say um, coming in as in like an ex-professional hockey player, I feel like he's looking up to me as, uh, you know, on, in the hockey world. On a, I come in like... Uh, you know, we have kind of like certain looks at certain points and during the show where he kind of like looks at me for approval or stuff like that sometimes on the hockey part. So I kind of, I feel like I'm, that's where I come in as a, as Dolo, you know, I, I kind of come in a veteran presence, like they say at first. Um, and yeah, just help him. But, you know, I'm playing myself. So I'm the French guy on the team. I'm the funny guy, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm there just to, to push the guys also at, like, I speak in the room, sometimes very specific points, you know, tell people to like wake up or stuff like that. So yeah, just veteran presence is pretty much my role in the show. For me, uh, being Hitch, um, you know, I, I think I'm representative of a lot of Newfoundlanders that, that are, you know, maybe playing that role, it, it, you know, doesn't always have to be a hockey dressing room, but Newfoundlanders, whether they're on some job, whatever that might be, um, 
you know, are often, you know, you ask them to do a job, they come in, they do it, and they're usually pretty funny and point things out. And they look at, definitely look at life from a glass is half full. That's part of our heritage. We've had to do that. So I think maybe that's it. You know, Hitch seems like his old buddy. That's, he did, he was a first round pick, so he must be a decent player. And, you know, seems to say the, the, the wrong thing, maybe at the right time uh, in, a, in a funny way. So I think he's leaned on a little bit of humor, but in the end, he's to be respected because he's been there. But it's more to put a smile on people's faces. That's the way I take it. And, and that's the way his relationship with Shorzy is, is, is pretty much a microcosm of that. Yeah, for myself with uh, with Michaels, uh, it's a it's a it's a fun little journey that I have um, without giving away too much. But uh, Shorzy and I just simply we just butt heads, and uh, you know he he knows how to he knows how to uh, grind my gears. You know, I guess to say, for lack of a better term, and uh, and it just it, it evolves. Um, but uh, yeah, he knows how to push my buttons. <laughs> damn sure. So so uh, I guess that's all I can really say about him so far. But uh, yeah, I just uh, I, I quite enjoy the journey that we have this character so absolutely so what is your hope that fans are going to take away other than being like super super funny i think that they're gonna see that there's a lot of heart uh within the story as well and just how you know how a team can kind of really culminate and and uh, and come together at such a quick amount of time um like if I can add, no matter what sports you play, you know, I mean, of course, hockey players and hockey people are going to relate more. But I mean, if you play team sports of any kind, you're going to relate and feel attached to the story because it's a team that's trying to win and it's trying to do better. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, yeah, it touches it pretty much. I, a lot. I, uh, I totally agree with what they're saying. It gave me goosebumps and I was in, in the show, <laughs> you know, towards the end. We've seen all six episodes, of course. Uh, you know, I, I found myself really, really into the emotional side of it. And I, I didn't really see that coming when we were filming, but I think more than anything, my buddies who are all, my buddies who are Letter Kenny fans, which is a lot of them, um, they've seen a couple episodes now here in Canada and they're surprised that it doesn't quite lean on, like it's, it's very similar. If you like Letter Kenny, I, I think if you like one, you'll like the other, but it doesn't lean on Letter Kenny as much as you might think. Uh, you know, it's its own, it's on its own, right? Uh, there, there are similarities and, Definitely Easter eggs, whatever you want to call it. But they were surprised anyway because they found it really funny, which I'm glad. But, uh, you know, I think they were expecting, you know, that it would just we'd all go back to Letter Kenny in season yeah. two or in episode two and, and party. You know, it's, it's got its own heart to it, its own flavor. Great. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Kristen. Thank, thank you. you. For